Welcome back. We're talking about staying on track, especially when it comes to this holiday season, which we do. We indulge in all of the, you know, heavy foods and stuff. So we were asking you, you've been a member since February. What are you going to be bringing to Thanksgiving since you do want to stick to the diet that you're kind of being put on in the plan? Well, my my signature is going to be my mashed cauliflower and um, making cauliflower out of gravy like we had talked about. And I mean, turkey is pretty pretty standard on the plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty low in calories. It's not too bad for you. And um, staying away from the pie. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay to have like one or two bites, <clears throat> but you have to realize that one or two bites can be, you know, 50 some calories that's added to you, added to your plan. So staying away from everything <laughs> would be, <laughs> is kind of my, kind of my go-to this year yeah and and you guys were saying you've lost <clears throat> almost 50 pounds since february so i'm sure that's in the back of your mind too when you're going into thanksgiving dinner i want to keep on this track right you have to really think to yourself okay is this worth going off plan for is this worth you know going to derail your your plan for the day mm -hmm. so and, and if it's worth it then go ahead you know everything in moderation you don't want to you know you don't want to feel deprived but also think of you know what's going to is this going to be a one-time thing or is it going to be well Tuesday is kind of special I mean <laughs> I made my bed this morning I should celebrate <laughs> that's me I'm like I made it through a dim work day let's celebrate that mm -hmm. But that's kind of the mentality that you guys help coach them with is, you know, yes. taking part in some of those special occasions is okay, but think about your overall goal, not just, mm -hmm. you know, what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. A lot of members are coming in, like, especially, like, it was like the beginning of summer. It was difficult for many people, the lake, every weekend. Mm -hmm. And then they were thinking, okay, let's just get through the summer, but then the holidays. And it's really, mm -hmm. realistically, events are all the time. They're every week. And so I'm glad you said the word deprived because a lot of... Um, Times I like to bring up two words, deprived, empowered. You know, your mindset has so much to do with your success. How do you look at your choices? Are you feeling empowered? Or are you feeling deprived? Yeah. Talk about in the holidays, it's easy to obviously have alcohol around you a lot too. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's, it's a liquid. There's no calories in that, right? Yes. So yeah. Wine doesn't count. <laughs> so, right. so what do you do around alcohol? Mm -hmm. And do you need to stay completely away from it from a caloric standpoint? Or where, where does it fit in? Well, it's a personal decision, and if someone wants to have a glass of wine, please have a glass of wine, but let the guilt go, um, unless it's a trigger and they want more and more, and it will trigger some choices in food that they, you know, they want to avoid, um, and it depends on where they're at in their journey, mm -hmm. and I think, it, you know, alcohol is always a personal choice. If they want to have alcohol, I just... It's my job to inform them the number of calories and what it does to their progress. And that's my point. I mean, mm -hmm. whether you drink or not is fine. I'm just saying, is it is yeah. it a big caloric intake if I have some alcohol, or is it not that bad? Or well, nine calories per gram for alcohol, and I don't know what that means. Fat is um, no alcohol is seven calories per gram. Carbohydrates and protein are four calories per gram. Fat is nine calories per gram. And so when we're consuming but, but, alcohol, our body burns that first before it burns anything else. So it is adding empty calories on top of. But what's a gram of alcohol? Like I, my brain doesn't think oh, that way. Oh, so like a gram of, like one gram of protein, if you eat 15 grams of protein, like per serving, you take like the 15 times nine calories and that would be your, um, gra your ca that would equal your calories. Mm. So a lot of <laughs> yeah, I have to figure so out how many grams are in your little yeah, yeah. ounce. So in other words, you're sipping. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? Anything else you guys want to add? Um, and like that little bit about science. Like sometimes knowing the science behind it really helps people. You know, there's an emotional approach, there's a logical approach, and it's just like kind of meshing both of those. And that's mm -hmm. part of the coaching too is the education process. Like some people, it's a whole universe of information and misconceptions and we're there to take the guesswork out of it yeah and yeah. to help along the way provide any coaching you know whatever they need to feel successful yeah well keep on your yes. track good yeah. job congratulations <laughs> and let us know how the cauliflower mashed potatoes are too it's good we've had them before yeah. right i've had the cauliflower rice okay had the it's good though it's, mm. it's, good. It, it's actually really good yum all right stick around we got some very special guests joining us right after this